Hey folks, um, just wanted to show the uh, little finger of weather that came through and generated that hail. Uh, this is my second attempt at recording. The first one I had my volume muted. But at any rate, uh, right here is the finger that developed and right there you can see the red spot. That was where the hail came through. So I just thought that was kind of an interesting uh, thing to note. And uh, I did notice also that for a while we had a six hour loop on Intellicast and it's back to a one hour loop because it's only doing from about 10.45 to 11.40. Um, so that's kind of interesting and I'm just going to back out real quick on this storm because I don't really know uh, what's going to happen. I don't think the forecasters really do either. A lot of this uh, precipitation is what went through Chicago, and I'm seeing a lot of dark clouds in the south right now. Uh, I'll put it on satellite in a moment, but um, there's a lot of circulation around this, and we're getting big winds now, so uh, and temperature changes. So it's all kind of uh, an interesting thing to me because well, I'm a weather nut, can I say? I'll get to the satellite. And here's a satellite for New England, and uh, Massachusetts is right there. There's the finger cloud. Um, before I zoom in on that, just wanted to point out uh, the <clears throat> what looks like the Kevin Helmholtz waves that uh, I've reported on before. They show up right in here. when telecast is moving, working properly. There it is. There's some there. Um, yes, it's moving very slow. There we go. It's loading. So, they're either the Kevin Helmholtz waves or the frequency waves being generated out here, which could affect this whole weather system right here. Just a quick note, just check College of DuPage real quick as their um, satellite images are much better and generally run in the longer loop. So this is the College of DuPage showing the weather uh, visible satellite image and um, it looks more like a normal storm to what I'm used to seeing as a normal winter storm. I've got an area of circulation, which you can see the clouds circulating up in here. And I will try zooming. I'll stop this. Although I lose resolution, and I do, but I'm just zoom in on this area where I saw the uh, what I'll call KH waves, just shorter. And um, it through. Okay, you can just begin to start seeing them form. There is also some out here and some in here. So you can watch how those form and change. And um, my understanding is uh, when there are different of wind directions and different temperatures at close layers of the atmosphere, those waves form. And that is the uh, Kevin Helmholtz theory. That's all I'm going to show you of that. And this is just the next website out of Boston. And again, it shows really clearly that that finger right there that came through um, with that dropped the hail on us. And uh, it's gone through. But, um, just another image. And one more quick image from College of DuPage. Put the time up here, so you can see it. And uh, I'm running into it kind of quickly. But this shows the whole storm. And I watch the weather because of where I live and all the different things that have happened recently. And uh, it's interesting how this mass of precipitation isn't really moving very rapidly, but around it. The, uh, the winds are moving. This isn't moving very fast, but up here they are moving fast. And I could put the uh, wind image up 
but I'm not going to do that right now. This is long enough as it is. Uh, just a weather buff. I like to share this stuff. It's very intriguing to me. So I hope it's interesting to you. Thanks for watching.